red. Oh, that's so cute. Give me the baby deer. My Fina loves this Miss Fina D coming to you all from Fina Entertainment News. The queen of playing the guessing game is back at it again. You all know that I love and support Kenya more, but she knows how to keep you guessing, keep you on your toes, keep people talking, and I'm here for it. She's very, very smart. You all know that the ladies of the Real Housewives of Atlanta been filming. Okay, you're seeing all of these pictures. For those of you who have social media going around, Nene, Cynthia, Milo, sometimes Portia, you know, and Candy, the same group. And they're having an amazing time, you know, traveling and just doing their thing. It seems like there's also, there's already been drama um, among some of the girls. You know, there are some new girls being tested right now. And I guess we shall see them once the new season starts. That is if I'm going to watch the new season. But one of the, that one of, the biggest talk of it all have been Kenya Moore. I've already said this over and over again at this point i talk about kenya more because one i support her and two you know i love giving you guys updated about her for the simple fact that if she's not on this season that's coming up then for those of our supporters who have followed her and supported her for so long will not really get to see her pregnancy journey. So I'm going to keep doing these videos, posting recent pictures, videos, and updating all of you about her journey. And I'm sure Kenya is documenting everything right now. And you know, she's an amazing producer and all of that. So I won't be surprised if she ended up with her own show or just have those very beautiful moments where every, so often she go ahead and drop a video on us and bless our social media timeline with amazing videos from her pregnancy journey and all of that but until that happens you know i will continue to update you guys on kenya Mo. but she's been hot topic is she coming back is she not coming back i mean it's so crazy to the point where for the people who say that, oh, we don't care, she could be gone. It's like when they post pictures with the other girls, it's almost like those girls don't even exist. It's all about Kenya. Well, before I get to the image that Kenya posted, um, Cynthia Bailey posted this video right here. Well, there you go she's having dinner and date and you can see how she used you know certain keywords to basically hint at who her date was okay so after she posted this video on her insta story i went to and then you know her insta story kenya moore went ahead and posted this beautiful image right here she's just glowing her ring is shining i mean she's just everything and her comment um basically on the caption on the picture was thank you for making me feel so loved at cynthia bailey i miss you thank you at candy for always being you and portia for sending your will which is sisterhood baby daily real housewife of atlanta all right and cynthia bailey went ahead and captioned beautiful and blessed okay so when you compare the video and this dress right here you already know that cynthia and kenya was to get a lot of you i've read a lot of comments been coming for cynthia you know 
you guys don't think they're friends anymore because Cynthia don't blast their friendships all over social media. I've said it over and over again. I'm not saying because you blast your friendship on social media, that means it's not genuine. But, you know, when you do have a genuine friendship, you don't have to prove anything to anyone to be like, my friendship is real. So Cynthia is not that, let me go ahead and put the camera in your face every time I'm with you. Now, I do understand when they're filming and it's business, it makes sense to take pictures and update the social media because it keeps, you know, people talking about the show and all of that so that, you know, it's not just like, you know, what they disappear for a few months and they come back and people are like you know how who these people <laughs> because you know social media have a short attention span people uh, have a short attention span nowadays so that's what they do but when it's real you just want to have fun enjoy your people and don't want to have to blast any and everything but I have said over and over again that they are still friends but people have been leaving comments oh just because Cynthia you know go and post a comment on Kenya's social media page Instagram page doesn't mean that they're friends you know and you know Candy have you know posted pictures of Kenya and invited her to certain things and all of that so Candy you have really stepped up for Kenya and people are just saying well where is Cynthia in all of this well there you go okay she got to hang out with Cynthia her they post something I always know that more yeah no pun intended is coming so even though I just had one picture in a short clip I was like don't post it yet I was going to post it the moment Kenya Moore posted that image and the caption and all of that, I was like, nah, wait till tomorrow. They might add more images and there you go. Oh my gosh. I love all of these images of Cynthia Bailey and Kenya Moore, especially this one right here when they're hugging each other. By the way, how she's hugging her and her eyes are closed. You can tell that they do have a true, genuine friendship. I know, like I said, you're gonna hear me say this again in this video. I've read the comments about people calling Cynthia a flip flapper and all of that. You have to understand, she have a business relationship with uh, with those other women. Okay, she's not gonna no mess up her million over a million dollar check. You know, just because, oh my gosh, I'm friends with Kenya Moore. So, you know, I'm not going to say hi to Milo. I'm not going to smile at Milo. No, that's her job. When it's all said and, said and done, she knows who her genuine friends are. And this right here was just everything. Um, I'm hearing things like Kenya is still going to have her peach. She is not accepting a friend to the show position. However, she's not going to be in the entire season, you know, because of all of the drama that's been going on with her contract negotiation and all of that. But she will be in some episodes and things like that. However, she will still be a peach holder. But Bravo is also giving her a spin-off. Um, that's a stretch. But that's what I'm hearing. So, like I said, we're just going to have to wait and see. Because at this point, we've heard so many stories that I'm just over it. Okay? <laughs> Whatever at this point. But it's just so good to see them hanging out and all of that. Um, so, Kenya is back filming all of that. But then again, it could be she was in Atlanta. Okay? They, they both live in Atlanta. But, you know, when I say she was in Atlanta, what I mean is that Kenya husband still have his businesses and everything in new york so the instagram live that i showed you guys he was at more manor with aunt laurie and all of them go ahead and watch that but for the most part they also be in new york so when i said she was in atlanta meaning she probably came back from new york and was in atlanta and you know she and cynthia bailey went ahead and caught up in all of that so i'm just so glad and um cynthia went ahead her caption finally ran she meant ran into ran into this pregnant lady down for dinner last night has so much fun catching up and yes she ate the whole restaurant <laughs> baby daily she meant d-a-l-y auntie sent okay so i'm just happy that i mean kenya is just beautiful cynthia too they are glowing they look amazing and yeah so there you have it they're still friends of course, Portia also made a comment. So I'm just glad to see Kenya back in the mix and we will see what, you know, become of this whole reunion dynamic. <laughs> I think Cynthia was pressured 
Like, that's my girl. I talk to her all the time. We're cool. I don't have to prove anything as it relates to our friendship. But okay, sure. I'm going to go ahead and post the pictures. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that, that's social media for you. Uh, that's what it is in this day and age. It's like, if we don't see it, that means it's not happening. You know? <laughs> so there you have it. Are you happy now? <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and move on. Now, you noticed something in that post, right? Yep, she did not tag Nene Leaks. No surprise there. We've had this conversation over and over again where I've said Nene was never here for Kenya. She's never been here for Kenya. She only smiled and tolerated her because, you know, they have to ship together. But the whole situation was Kenya came in, beautiful, just took over the show Nini basically, I'm not saying this really happened. I'm just saying that allegedly went to producers and wanted Kenya out. And they were like, okay, thanks, but no thanks. She's not going anywhere. Okay. I really do believe that Nini and Phaedra and the other girls allegedly put the battery in Portia back to attack Kenya. And that's the reason why Nini went to bat for, for um, Portia and made sure Portia saved her, her job. She And that's why she got so angry when she and Portia was having little issues, saying things like, I'm the reason why you're here. You know, I saved your job because they were really, Bravo was done with Portia. And then it was, then it went as far as, like, you fire her, I leave. You know what I'm saying? And the ganging up and all of that did not work. Kenya stayed to the point where Nene was like, okay, I'm going to quit. And you guys are going to see that the show is going to fail without me. And so on and so forth. Well, she quit and the show did not fail. Actually, the ratings increased. Kenya was right next to Candy. Kenya was one step away from holding that middle peach. And next thing you know, here comes Nene running back to the show. So she's never, ever been here for Kenya. She's always found little things to nitpick at as it relates to Kenya. Now, although Nene, I already know, can't stand Kenya, but she tolerates Kenya. Okay, I think all of this started from a few weeks ago. Remember that post um, on June 18, Kenya Moore posted this. She posted this video right here of her just, you know, smiling, looking beautiful, you know, her green screen look. We, we all remember this look, okay? Gorgeous. And then she used the hashtag um, fake Real House of Atlanta News. No one has ever asked me to be a friend to show. Fact, I am the housewife that has had the highest rated episodes, okay? The past three seasons. Even last year, having missed three episodes, fact, <laughs> the Barcelona new lineup didn't work. The fans have spoken. I've never been called boring, fact. Love me or hate me, I may not be the fan favorite. Parentheses, my sister Candy is and well deserved. But thank you for being invested in my life and continuing to contribute to the success of Real Hospital of Atlanta and my success in my career on all levels. Don't worry, Tim Twirl. You will get to see baby daily and all that I'm experiencing as a new wife and mother to be one way or another. You will see my raw truth, the good, the bad, and the ugly one way or another. Fact, I am good effing TV. Fact, she's using the hashtag wrong girl. <laughs> Those hormones. I will be, I will be a housewife or nothing at all fact i don't discuss business but know that i know my value queen kenya moore truth shade queen shade assassin blame it on my hormones exactly let up uh, no all right so that's what kenya posted on that day now kenya have posted her baby bumming all of these things and 
you know, I see Cynthia Bailey, Portia, Candy, and other people. I don't really see Nini um, in the comments like that supporting Kenya. But she did comment on this one. Her comment was, she meant your Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, <laughs> it's one of the difference. Uh, you are making me laugh. Now... You already know Nene Leaks had to give her two cents. Now, this comment that she left on Kenya Moore page, you know, most people just felt like, okay, she was joking around, you know, Candy also responded and Claudia, Jordy, and everybody. So people were just like, you know what? Nene is just playing around. But then she goes and she leaves this comment on one of the Real Housewives of Atlanta fan pages. I, I don't think she was too happy with the fact that Kenya Moore wrote that, um, you know, Candy is the fan favorite, <laughs> and that Kenya, you know, had three of the highest rated, um, you know, episodes and things like that. I don't think, I don't think that, you know, she was too happy about about that. And in as much as their situation is not to the point where it's like it's just drastic, you can still tell that she's never been here for her, and. But the thing about Kenya is, whenever it's her going through situations, no one have her back. But she doesn't have any problems jumping and having someone's back. And you guys saw that with the whole reunion situation and the whole tag team going on between her and Nene shutting down King, Kim Zosiak and all of that. And it was like, okay, but Nene is basically like one of those people, when I need you, I'm a rock with you but when I no longer lead you whatever you know and that's basically what happened so behind the scene you know behind the scenes it could be like you know what because when Nene posted about Greg um, having cancer and all of that she tagged all of the girls uh, even Kim you know came through for her but it looks like behind the scenes there's something going on because there's no reason why Kenya will post this and not tag Nene. So something is absolutely going on. And I want you guys to see a pattern here. Before Kim started coming for Nene again, Nene had no problems, okay? Having a seat at the table with Kim, listening to her being so disgusting and nasty and rude to Kenya Moore, she sat there and laughed and felt like it was all funny shade and all of that. There was nowhere where it was like, you know what, um, I'm going to go ahead and check him. It was all funny games. It became serious when Kim started coming for her. So she's doing the same thing. Matt Milo and Portia went ahead and threw a fake wedding, even though this is Kenya's very first marriage and this mean a lot to her. And they were expecting her to blow up and go off and she did not she laughed at the entire process and they they ended up looking stupid milo have sat to the table constantly saying kenya is not married and nini have also sat there and echoed that she doesn't believe kenya is married now here we go again it's clear that kenya is pregnant but milo sat there and said Kenya is not pregnant. Kenya lies so much that Bravo needs to make sure she pee on the stick. And she came for Kenya at the reunion and Kenya destroyed her and all of that. I already talked about that. But yet, that is still Nini Leek's friend. And she finds the things that Milo have said to be okay. The only time she's going to switch over half an issue is unless Milo starts to become nasty to her again. The same way how Kim you know, did when people show you who they are, believe them, Maya Angelou. But Nina's gonna learn the hard way. So I don't blame Kenya for keeping her distance. I don't even need to mess with you if that's the type of person you want to be around and you're calling your sis and your best friend. So it could also be that as well because Milo is disgusting. And so basically, whatever the case might be at this point, you know, let's just go ahead and move on from this whole <laughs> mess. Now, people were saying that, oh, 
you know, Bravo is intentionally hiding Kenya. They keep people talking because they want the ratings and all of that. And they want Kenya to be a surprise. That's one. Uh, people were saying that this was Kenya farewell, farewell message to her supporters and that she's done with the show and just all of these different um, speculations. But we shall see, you know, and people are, like I said, people said that she filmed with Santa today and, and that big business meeting she said she was going to a few days ago. Maybe she went to sign her contract. <laughs> so one of her supporters jumped right into action and was like, is this your goodbye to Real Housewives of Atlanta? And Kenna responded, no, just sending out love. Okay, girl, if you say so. Hi, my friend and loves. I just want to say thank you all for the love and support to all of my supporters. Thank you so much for everything uh, you've done and continue to do for me. We are growing, so thank you. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you are aware that I post it. And I will see you all in the comment section. And I'm wishing Kenya well and everybody well and whatever it is that's going on between her and Nini. You know, hopefully it's same old different day. Then I hear for each other and it's nothing too drastic. You know, but I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, my friend. I love. I'm wishing you all an amazing day. Remember to always have the God bless attitude. Which is being positive at all times and seeing a good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.